From near and afar, competitors arrive in the host city of Hong Kong. But these elite contestants are not here for sport. They're competing in the International Mathematical Olympiad, also known as the world's most prestigious maths prize for students. This is my first and last Olympiad, which is exciting. Michelle Chen is in year 12, representing Australia. More than 100 countries are competing this year. To get to this level of competition involves a rigorous selection process, years of preparation and a commitment to the classroom. There's a bit of pressure representing your country, but at the same time you just want to like do your best and have a bit of fun at the same time. How it works is students sit four-hour exams over two days and are presented with three challenging problems in each assessment. Using analytical skills, they must then solve those problems, ranging from geometry, number theory combinations and algebra. Not many students can finish all the problems actually. This is how you think, a logical way of thinking, the deciding how to solve a problem. That's the most important thing. Top places are dominated by a small number of countries, including South Korea and Russia. But since China joined more than 30 years ago, it's won almost two-thirds of the annual competitions. Last year, that winning streak came to an end. Last year, the US won, and so I, hope, I guess China will be hoping to get that back this year. Despite the popularity of this international high school event, there's a declining appetite for these subjects globally. That's a problem this competition hopes to address by not only promoting the importance of mathematics as the backbone of science, but to encourage students to pursue these subjects beyond school level. There's another gap they're trying to close, getting more girls involved. Michelle Chen is keen to shatter the stereotype. So I think if like, we could spread the word that maths and science is cool and more, more people should get involved, that would be really great because then more people would get involved. These high school students don't have to be convinced. Just competing in this event can guarantee them a spot at some of the most elite universities around the world. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.